going on guys? Jackson here for Children Alone today. And we're gonna be teaching you how to wheelie on this video with a few simple steps. It's a super fun trick. And once you got it, you never lose it. Soon enough, you'll be loving back wheel. All right guys, so before we start, there's a couple things you can do on your bike to make this a lot easier for you. Number one, first and foremost, make sure you have brakes that work well and stop you when they pull. Number two, have your seat at a position somewhere between climbing and fully slammed, anywhere moderate will do. The higher it is, the harder it is to bounce, but easier it is to get the front wheel up. And select a gear that you would be comfortable pedaling on a slight uphill in. That just helps you get the front end up pretty easily. So somewhere just kind of middle of the block, just a nice easy gear, not too hard, not too easy. So to reduce the risk of injury when learning wheelies, we're gonna do kind of an interesting exercise here where I'm gonna intentionally loop out over the back of the bike because it's bound to happen when you're learning wheelies. So we're just gonna go ahead and get comfortable with that feeling so when you're actually doing them, you don't bust your dome on the ground. All right guys, so to do this, while you're in that mid-range gear, just get a nice firm kick and shift your weight back and it should look something like this. As you can see, nice and control, it landed on my feet. Nothing bad can happen, so just get familiar with that feeling in case things go bad, if your brake doesn't bite or something like that. All right guys, so the first step of wheelie is obviously getting your front wheel into the air. And that is done more so with your legs and hips than it is with your arms. If you're using your arms to pull, you're doing it wrong. So start with your strong foot forward, cranks up here, the one you'd get on your bike with and it's a weight shift. It's just a timed kick with your foot and a lean back of your weight and the arms go straight. It's the most important part. So now that you can get your front wheel off the ground, hopefully we'll talk about staying up there and that's all about maintaining a balance point. And you're gonna do that by putting strokes down through your pedals to keep the front wheel up. And if you start to loop out the back or feel like you're going too far backwards, just grab that brake and it'll bring your front end right down. You can see like this, just consistent strokes to keep it up. Grab, bring it right down. Yeah. All right guys, so once you're comfortable with the forward backward balance and the brake control, we'll talk about side to side balance. This is done with your knees and your hips, a little bit upper body, but mostly knees and hips. So say you start leaning this way, you're gonna wanna open up this leg and that'll bring your weight this way and keep you balanced. And it's kind of just a game of give and take like that. And once you figure that out, along with brake control, you can pretty much do a wheelie as long as you can keep the front wheel up. Once you are comfortable maintaining that front wheel and having that balance point work for you, it helps a lot to look where you're going. That just kind of keeps you balanced and just kind of gives you somewhere to aim for, you know? Also, a great spot to practice wheelies is a parking lot like this, where there are lines that you can shoot for and then it's quantifiable improvement and that's always fun to see as you work through this. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you found it helpful. And remember, this stuff takes time, so don't expect to go out and get this in a day. It takes a lot of repetitions and practice, but once you get it, it'll be worth it in the end. If there's any questions you have, anything you think I left out, please feel free to leave a comment and give the video a like. And if you don't subscribe already, appreciate a lot if you did that. Peace.